Hello everyone, and welcome back to Legend of Grimrock, Master Quest. So now then, the Fighter's Challenge. I don't really want to chant those hours, especially knowing what's coming up ahead and how... Yeah, this, this part's just going to suck. It's just going to suck. So I realize I don't have any fires for mana potions. Mm, that's not good either. Anyway. Okay. The fighter's charge. Please get in there. So now we only have to focus on this one way. They should sell. Literally no stamina, practically. <laughs> ah, but hey, at least not. So where's the button though? There it is. A boiled crag beetle. And a poison. 
poison bomb. Yeah. Yeah, that's very re rewarding. Very worth our time. Alright. Assassin's Dagger. It's beautiful. It has life still. It's a very good dagger. However, this may not be the prize for you. There is another choice. But firstly, we need to rest. And restore our potions. And properly save again. There we go. Now yeah, it's nice having Tarpeed. Now yeah, it's nice having nice things. But we ain't gonna have Tarpeed by the end of this probably. I mean, yeah, the Assassin's Dagger, it's a very nice dagger, but technically in the regular game, the, what would it be, the Shield of Valor would actually be there, <laughs> which actually would have been a more useful reward, but, oh well. As for now, on to phase two, because we didn't take the reward, we have to basically go through the teleporter. And now things get even worse. Saved. That's not good. Stupid freaking spiders. We need basically a core. Good way to fight these things in hell, because they'll just yeah. They're all over the bloody place. And then you end up getting flanked and If they would just stay from one angle, it'd be fine. I'm gonna 
it back onto my main. <sighs> well, one casualty. Honestly, that's about as good as it's going to get. We've seen the power outs before, though. Poison bombs, meh. There we go. Plate. Useful. There's only two choices. Either we take this or we take the dagger. Yeah. Gonna take this. Right. Screw it. So I have the diviner's cloak. Basically it technically bounces out the sort of bounces out the brace or fortitude because it reduces health food consumption. And gives us energy regeneration rate. It's not bad. But yeah. Now, the fighter's challenge. I'm gonna go heal. And then we're going to proceed to wherever the That's it to the level seven is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, level six is done. Yay. people on camera after all. Okay, so here's the thing. Technically once you get up to like heavy armor and porter, you don't really need to focus on these ones. You can if you want. I mean you could go after the double evasion. But now it's usually when I focus back to weapon skills. Because I have basically, I can carry more and I am decently protected, so yeah. Back to weapons. You, athletics. Definitely athletics. Let's see. Yeah, proof compact casting that will help. Next time we'll get Grey Fireball, which will also help. You still going with the whole plus two in each. As, uh, so yeah, next time, level seven. Hope you all enjoyed, and yeah, the fighter's challenge is bullshit. I can't express the amount of times I've died doing that in prior save. Like, I died like, so many times. And then it's like, oh, by the way, there's also a secret if you go to, like, the second challenge, the one with the spiders. It's like, yeah. And now everyone's dead again. Because, yeah. Come, I just want to watch me suffer. Probably.
That's what I get for abandoning the series. Oh well. Till next time. Dot. 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 Okay, so apparently after you complete lever sets, the door reopens or something like that. Or maybe it's after I beat the fire's challenge. I don't know, but the door is open now. So yeah, that's a thing. Anyway. Mm. 